Good evening and welcome to Omaha, Nebraska, USA. It's located on the Missouri River. Omaha is the largest city in Nebraska with a population of almost half a million people. This week, the greatest collide for the Curling World Cup, leg two. As we are embarking on the Ralston Arena, as tonight we have mixed doubles, session two coming up and our feature game will be USA versus Norway. Thanks for tuning in. I am Luke Coley, joined with Rona Howie as we get to meet the teams. First for the USA, their female competitor, Tabitha Peterson, with their partner, Joe Polo. They'll take on Norway with Kristen Skoslin and their male, Magnus Nedregotten. As the teams being introduced here in the Ralston Arena. Let's look at the pools. No games played yet in Group A, Canada, Korea, Switzerland, and Sweden. In Group B, China, Norway, Russia, and the USA. It'll be a double round robin. Top team will get to the playoff, into the final. Chance to try and get to that grand final. As we look at five sheets set up here inside this hockey venue. And now, how points are awarded through the Curling World Cup. Winning the event final, you get 10 points. You lose the event final, five. Winning a round robin game in regulation within eight ends, three points. If it's tied after you have to play the shootout, you win that game, you get two points. If you lose in a shootout, one point. A loss within the eight ends, no points awarded. Everyone's trying to get to that grand final. Rona, I know you were in leg one. We're now into leg two, and it's going to be some great matchups here. It's session two, but the first for mixed doubles. Canada on sheet A will take on Switzerland. Sheet B, Sweden taking on Korea. Our feature game, sheet C, USA versus Norway. And China takes on Russia on sheet D. What are you expecting here in leg two, Rona? Yeah, I think we'll see some great games. Certainly leg one was very exciting. It was fast and furious, and the mixed doubles we're playing with the men's teams and the women's teams. It was all mixed, so it was a great atmosphere. And here's the rules of play. Eight ends of play. Single stone shootout to tie the break, uh, to break a tied game. Modified free guards only. You can't remove any stone until the fourth rock being thrown. You get one power play. We'll talk about that throughout. No timeouts. Coaches are in behind, so there'll be some chatter between ends where they can discuss with their coaches. And we are set to begin. Here are the mixed doubles portion of the Curling World Cup. Leg two, Kristen Skazlin, 32-year-old Olympic Thanks bronze so medalist. 2018 in Korea. So a different yeah. concept here with the mixed doubles, that there was nobody in the head giving ice there. Players decide where they're going to throw and they use the other player as a sweeper. But it's their choice how they play the game, whether they want to use a sweeper or whether they want to have somebody giving ice. Yep. Here you see a little difference. Good, Joe Polo will throw the first and last stone of the end. His partner, Tabitha Peterson, will throw the middle three. Where the other opposite genders throwing those... Uh, stones on the Norwegian side. Yeah, so they can pick and choose. They can change as well between ends if they want to, who throws the first and last. And it's what works best, really, for each team. So Magnus Nedregotten, who was played in the Curling World Cup, Leg Six. one, but didn't play Six. with his partner here, yeah. Kristen. He yeah. was actually playing with his men's team. Stefan Wallstad and his side yeah. finished second there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Okay. 
we're side? shot. I think we yeah. gotta get around this side and get on them. Okay. It's a bit quicker, right? Eh? Yeah, I think uh, it's... I took a little outside the edge, so I think you can take edge. Okay. We've seen in the mixed doubles where the communication soft. in that team dynamic is so important. When there's just the two players on the ice, they have to communicate at all times. So I just want to come down here onto the button. Still room. Yep. Falling down nicely. Just want to freeze her own red even. Oh, it kind of... Oh, plays it perfectly. Great shot. Well, the stone placement pretty important. As you see the log jam of stones. We're past that modified free guard zone rule, so now any stone can be removed. You can play hits. You don't see as many in this mixed doubles format. Six. No, it tends Whoa. to be more tap Six. backs Whoa. that are played. Six. 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 So oh. Magnus just looking to tap this red back. He didn't have to curl a bit more. Not a bad result there. It sits on top of the red, so it's usable for Norway. <coughs> well, it is Team USA who does have the hammer here in this first end. Two, they don't have a whole lot to get us out of there. Okay. So, I mean, I think even tight on that side's fine. Like a three-four on that side, or tighter? Three, three-four is good. So Rono, when they say 3-4, that where are they wanting this one to be placed? So they want this one just close to the house or just biting the top 12 foot. So they use zones, so 1, 2 and 3 are short. But it's always just a good indication of where they want it to finish. As you heard them say, they're lying too. They don't feel Norway's got a lot on, so let's just guard it. So just rubs off the yellow guard, but it does do the job they wanted to do. But Norway do have this yellow on the other side that they can raise up. I don't know where else to go. Man, I don't really like hitting anything over yeah. here. Anyway. Well, communication very important in this mixed doubles format because they do have a tight time frame each end to play. Kristen and Magnus are an engaged couple. You wonder <laughs> if that's a benefit or a hindrance. Yep. <laughs> well, they have played a lot in this in this format. Yep. Probably one of the more experienced teams yeah. together, playing in five world mixed doubles, curling championships together. Won the bronze in 2015. And a little tap back just pushes it up and, and setting up angles. Still not all that favorable. No, it, it, the weight was good there. It just hung a bit straighter than they wanted it. I think you got to get one in there. This way? Yeah, even if we give him a little tap, it's pretty good. Tap he, on their yellow? Yeah. Okay. He had he had ice mid eight foot. Okay, yeah. So, it's not moving a whole lot No, here. not here. Okay. So just discussing how much ice to take, where they want to play here. See, there's nobody in the head giving ice more. to the players. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Plenty of room, Joe. Whoa. It's not moving at all. And this one is running a lot straighter. They don't want to leave anything that Norway can use. They're actually going to slip right back. <coughs> so it doesn't really do much there. No, it goes back, okay. eight foot, just too much weight. Okay. Down to the final couple stones here in this first end. 
USA line two. And they do have the hammer. Yeah, so Norway just looking to come off the inside of that yellow stone on the left hand side. Come right over into the four foot, nudge their yellow onto one of the reds. You can see there, it's, there's no way in through the centre with all the cover. So this is really Norway's only option. So Kristen Skazlin throwing the first and last for Team Norway. Looking to use that side stone. And on the wrong side of that, still Team USA lying two. Is there a like chance for more? Get two, okay, right? I, was like here, I think I gotta take edge and just sweep it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So there's a chance Norway can come in here and tap that yellow back and score three. What's up there? You think it'll curl a third of a rock after the guard? With that same weight I threw okay. it, probably. So they just saw the last stone run a bit straighter here. Taking tighter ice. It's all there, no. Easy. Easy Joe then. Polo, two-time Olympic medalist with the, in the men's Whoa, team now. play. Whoa, never. Coming down. Curl. Got a curl. Got a curl. Trying to make it curl at the end. Hard, 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 hard. Well, they gave it a go, but it'll end up chipping one of theirs out and only get one. Team USA was lying two before that. I know. One red. That's why I was skeptical. And so an early single point for Team USA to lead Norway in session two. Yeah. Thank you. Should we also use the other side? Number one, so it's the closest one, I think. just to try to catch him on it, but let's make the first one, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, decisions talked about the result and the communication from Team USA after they left a, poto, a point out on the ice, missing their last shot, caught in a little spot, maybe a little bit straighter than they wanted or thought they were going to get, chip their own out, Easy, then. still score with the hammer, lead this one 1-0 one nice. after a single end of play. Okay. Let her slow down a little. Curling yeah, World Cup, leg yep, two yep, from Omaha, Nebraska, USA. And the all important first stone like of the that. end in this mixed doubles format. Yeah, really key to come in and lie yeah, short. The stones that are placed at the beginning. The one in the house is back four. So it's so vital to get in on top of it. Try and dictate play. Oh, we only need the first. Okay. Skill five. Linja bra. Six. Hi, bra. Six, the only go. Linja bra. So Kristen Skazlin just calling the line. Magnus looking after the weight. Ah, lovely shot. Yeah, nice touch, able to go right to the button. 
kølen på slutten her, altså. Nei, det var mer fart da. Det er for å få mer fart, og aldri er meningen å gå med kjøl. Jeg tror vi må dry det. Ok. Gå ned, spill det tett til the guard, for hvis vi kjøper det, er det ikke noe problem. So Tabitha, just looking to draw down the other side. You heard them say, if we catch the guard and split it open, it's not a disaster. Better to do that, air on the right side and get a result. It's not got the weight though, it's going to come up short. Probably running that rock so it's now double guarded by USA. It is Norway. Left the Last stone here in the second end. Magnus Nedergotten, who will throw the middle three stones. Hard blast. Hard blast. Five six. Six. Hard blast. Killing that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Would like to come blast. down on yeah. top. Yeah, yeah six. Kristen's last stone just frees on top. Ah, oh, lovely stone. Two great shots. From Norway, put the pressure on to USA. Thing was, I thought that we could have two arms there, so so nice, but. I like that. You don't like double peel? Well, it opens it up for them to. Yeah, but we're in a bad way right now. See the coach of American squad, Phil Drobnik. I mean, it's just a national team coach on the left there, anywhere. Derek Brown. Uh, we need to hit. We need to hit theirs on you on your side to make them go. So. So double peel. I think double peel is a shot. Yeah, a bit of debate. Tabitha didn't want to play the double peel in case it opened it up for Norway, because the stones are sitting in a good position for Norway in the head. Wasn't much a way to get into the house. It does open it up, and Norway can sit in a good position. That's Thomas Lavov, the coach of Norway. Is that a stress ball he's got? We'll see if that ball shrinks throughout the week with the stress throughout this curling World Cup. So oh, interestingly me. there, Kristen yeah. Skazlin oh, stayed in the head to give ice to Magnus rather than sweep. This one's over curling. Right. Got a wee nick in behind the, okay. the guard. Throw it hard. Well, let's look over, keep you up to date. Canada and Switzerland, it's a rematch of three of the four uh, members in that uh, Olympic gold medal game. Yeah, and Switzerland, line one. Close to the red one. Close. No. Nose? Yeah. Okay. Kaylin Park and filling in, of course, it was Caitlin Laws and John Morris who won gold in Pyeongchang yeah. earlier this yeah. year. And well, well. Just stayed right where I threw it. Yeah, yeah looking to go in off, but hung straight. So a steal of one for Switzerland. Meanwhile, a real nice shot by Tabitha Peterson. Clear house as she makes three yellow Norwegian stones go away. And gets a roll behind. That double peel looks real nice uh, right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Because they had no way in without opening up the front there. So that's a great result. Guarding this one to protect that one they have that shot stone. They do have last stone at this end, Norway. They really want to try and generate a two here. 
Well, they come down top eight foot, live first and third. I like this. But it overcurls, leaves that shot stone Let's open. You like that better than this? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Just normal? You mentioned it earlier, Rona, the difference of having someone holding the broom in the house to call it. See on sometimes on the hits. More often than on a draw shot, you'll see someone in the house to hold the broom. Yeah, got less margin for error with the bigger weights. So brush play has to be pretty accurate oh, in the yep. bigger weights. Yep, Joe, yep. Yep, hard, you gotta go hard, go! Oh, gotta go, go, get past go, go, that front stone. Just touch it and get away with it. Oh, just managed to clip it and yeah. remove the shot from play. Very fortunate. Has it left Norway a chance though to catch yellow on the inside? You see here it just rubs the top yellow and removes the shot. Thirst to work this, throwing and sweeping. Did that then the, the straight side of the track. Dang, we get by, it's really good. Yeah, it drills right under there. Well, that's a conversation talking about if they get by that stone. Now what can Norway come back with? Can they get a two here? They need to catch their yellow onto the red shot and try and hold their shooter. Well, final stone here. Second end. Trying to hold the line. They need to catch this top yellow fairly thin. Do they have to push that one out? They'll push it out and roll it in to get two. Very nice. Kristen Skoslin able to get the deuce. Great sweep by her partner, Magnus Nedregotten. Hold this one with just enough weight. Push that one out. Roll them both in. And that's how a two goes up for Norway in a 2-1 lead after two. Well, there's the positioning of the stones as we get set for end number three. It is the first mixed double session. There's a women's session that finished earlier. And full slate of games as we'll get into the double round robin format. Kristen Skoslin will get us started after her great shot in the second end to get the deuce. Six. So this one just over curling. So Magnus just stops sweeping just to leave it top four. Joe Polo. Take a 
And this USA team, they easy. won the easy, 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 easy. <laughs> right to go to the Worlds to represent USA no, 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 no. in 2016. Nice they won bronze, guys. they lost the US <laughs> finals in 2017. And that one right down in front. So USA lying two. This is where the lead Thanks. stones and mixed doubles are so they're so yeah, crucial to be right down. and right in the forefoot Why round the bottom the area. Because it really dictates how the whole end's played after that. Yeah, you see one miss and then all of a sudden a make by your opponent and you're chasing. Corner freeze. Freeze. And every team's got different of dynamics of how they go about and calling it. No and that's what's so interesting, listening to the mixed doubles pairs, because they're all different. Everybody's got different ways of playing the game. Yeah, no real captain or, or, or leader like in a, in a team game where you have the skip who's calling the game. Obviously, there's input from every member, but not quite like in the mixed doubles where both sides make the decision. Uh, what do I do with this one? Sit. And there's a mistake. <coughs> Chipping rolling off. Oh, play again! Yeah, tap play again! Ah, let ah. Did you come to show that? I'm a little bit nervous. I thought that was fine. So now we can just tap this yellow up. They don't need to move it much to lie short. You see, there, Magnus quite happy to have. Just in, in the head, giving ice, and he'll jump up and sweep. Not curling as much as they had wanted it to. Not a bad result, the way that the angles are. Well, there's lots of conversation all the way down, probably. How do we make this? What can we do with it? Yeah, it was just not curling enough. Hard on the nose or just a hair inside? Well, let's keep you up to date. Look at all those stones. China, Russia. It looks like Russia lying right too. Yeah, but not a lot of options. <laughs> or even get just a scotch inside. Anastasia Moskaleva throwing those first and last for the Russian side. Yep, she's yep. trying to come down and just freeze right in and top on the... Sit. That's not bad. I like that. No, but not able to have a curl in there enough to get that third point, but still a deuce and a 2-1 lead after two for Russia over China. Now we'll jump over Sweden and Korea. One nothing Sweden leading Korea. And Sweden lying two. Korea difficult shot here. Trying to raise that top yellow onto the reds. Oh, jams it, but does remove one from play. So it's a steal of one for Sweden. That's the damage down. 2 nothing. Sweden lead. So we saw the big weight in our feature game, USA-Norway. Tabitha Peterson able to clear a couple out. And still that shot stone back button belonging to Team USA, who do have last stone. He's third, so I think just freeze is good.
So a great chance here for Tabitha to come right in and freeze on top of her own red. Lie two, but she's come up short. Yeah, I don't know if she had the weight. Almost just didn't give that one a chance to get there. Oops, sorry. Need to get my draw weight down. How's fart think you da? Jeg vet ikke helt. Litt mer fart, eller? Ja, for den er veldig, veldig tynn da, for å bli skjått. Jeg tenker ikke mye fart. Hekk her. Eller vet du hva, forresten? Spill den hardt, du. Det er ikke noe fare med det. Spill den hardt og få den til å sitte der sånn. Problemet er å treffe kjukt da. Yeah, and that stone's really guarded. USA's way in with her last stone to come down in that handle to get their two. And the other side's blocked by Norway right now, so it's going to be very difficult for USA to score their two. Do we have anything? He's thinking exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Other than that run. Or tap, I guess. Well, final stone here for Team Norway. Possible little tap on this one to try and push their one up. Gonna have to work this hard though for line. Can Magnus hold it? <laughs> is it past? Oh. It is if it goes through the hole. And now opens it up for USA to get in. I mean, you can just draw for two. There's nothing That for just three, went over there? curled. Because this is out counting. These two are. Yeah. How much time we got? We got a minute. So the difference with this competition at the Curling World Cup is Nothing that there. every end is timed. The is tough, Usually they have so have many to minutes to play you know I mean? their eight ten. ends or ten ends of the game. And this Whereas is here, sure. yeah. they get three okay. minutes per end in the first four ends right. of the game. So, so you constantly have to be watching your time. You can't bank it and hit. try and save time run. for later on in the game. You have to play each end three minutes in the first four, then three minutes 15 for the second four ends. I like playing the hit on their rock. 30 seconds. I like, I like playing hit on their rock. On this? Well, and it's normally does sway a little bit to the person that does throw that final stone of what the actual shot is going to be played. And in this case, it's Joe Polo. So for also very much spin with Vanley, so they had him got some of them that you would want to do. Vanley? Oh, there's not a Vanley, because you want to. Okay. Yeah. Trying to come off that yellow across the face of their own. Whoa, Joe. It's falling. Can we chip ours? Yeah. Just hanging oh. very straight there. Too late. Sorry. And we'll nose Jeez. hit that stone, and it'll be another single point for Team USA. One red, red. Unable to make that hit and roll. And we are Free left a rock. two. Two yeah, game little, after three ends of play. It's just gone. So a 2-2 two, two game. Two singles by the U.S., a deuce by Norway in the second. 
And we play the fourth. Luke Coley, Rona Howie, as we bring you live coverage. The Curling World Cup Leg 2. We are in Omaha, Nebraska, USA. And the host country, Team USA, in action. Yeah. In this one against Norway. Norway with the hammer. Okay. Got a curl, so. Weight's good. Whoa. Whoa, right off it. Just make sure it's shot. It is. Okay, well then. Nice job. Yeah, great shot there from Joe Polo. Start the end off. But it is back tee, so it does give Norway the chance to come right in on top and freeze it. So is that the ideal spot, or would you rather be... Yeah. Move that one, or do you want to sit in front of the tee line? When USA came in there, although they're shot by freezing the back yellow, if you're top four, you know, if you're just the top of the one foot anyway, you can be lying shot and command that top of the four foot where the opposition have to move you. So right now, they're like, Norway could just come in and freeze on top. They didn't have to move it. So it just makes it easier for your opposition if you're back to you. Magnus Nedregotten has had a lot of big <laughs> sweeps in this one. There is a lot of end-to-end -end okay. sweeps in mixed doubles, but he's really had a lot to work on in this game so far. Starting to move now. Close, Joe. And here's another great shot. Tabitha just want to half check the yellow. Real nice. Ah, great shot. A good angle set up for for Team USA there by Tabitha Peterson. Magnus changing his mind from the hack. Quite fancy, just running the guard straight back. And this one can be removed. It's the fourth stone being delivered, so you can remove stones at this point. No sweeping on this one. Go straight back. And look at, we'll end up spilling that over. Not the right ones he wanted to remove. He has opened up the button a wee bit in that uh, the two USA stones are back to you. You can see there that just caught. Oh, I think we want to split oh. the center line and be just it like that. Have done that hard. No, <laughs> that's a tough one. Tried. A few millimeters either way in that top one, and completely different well, result. Sure. Yep. So it's basically, the rock's going to be right there on the center line, and get a good piece of the forefoot. So a, a great chance now for USA to come round here. Dictate the top of the forefoot. Gotta go a little bit. Like last Mine's good. Working this one hard. They want it right into the top of the four. Well, you know that you put this in a good spot. You're in a good control of the end. Overswept it. <laughs> <laughs> it actually went further than they wanted, but it's still pretty good there. Too strong. <sighs> Too strong. Well, both sides going back and forth. Joe Polo right over that rock. And the difference, you see them, they're also on their slider as well, so uh, need that coordination. Not an easy thing to go on on the surface with your with your slider and one gripper. And <laughs> good shot. Still, that strong force of controlling that stone all the way down. Yep, certainly generating plenty power there. Yep. Hard. Hard yeah. So Magnus trying to come oh, oh. in off the yep. red on, USA on, stone. Can he hold it? He needs to pass the top one. Oh, 
robs it, but gets an okay result. I've seen a couple of those where they just catch that top one in the house, roll off. Actually, Tab, nose tap is really good. Move our rock out of the way. Nose tap or just nose hit? I think just tap it. I don't think we want to get too crazy with the weight. Try to stay on top of it. Okay, so like the weight I throw my first draw? Yeah, that's perfect. But I'm going to need more ice. Okay. Oh, we'll see what Tabitha has. Yeah, just wants to tap the yellow onto the red, remove their own okay, back from the backing, and sit on top of the Norwegian stone. But this back is 12, hanging quite high, high at the okay. moment. Here it comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coming nicely, he's played a nice controlled weight. That's good. Well, pretty much the nose. Maybe a hair more curl is a little better. Yeah, fraction right. more would have been ideal. And you saw Joe going back and forth on sides. The difference of whether what side he's on to sweep for that? Yeah, he was trying to make it curl more at the end. So you see the sweeper change, sw call it switch sweeping, to try and get more curl. Magnus trying to take a double here on the reds. He needs to catch the top yeah. one quite thin. Oh. Oh. Get his shooter over and remove the other red. Uh, just caught it too thick. And hmm, I left that, USA I line two. Yeah. Yeah, shooter rolls a long ways away. I wanted to catch that one much thinner. That glance off the top one, rolling away. It's 1-2 I mean, right now for, Can they score for Team USA. Probably. But it's only one because of this guy. I don't know if she can make the triple. Is this you like done? that? That's pretty good. Even if you like... Yeah, I'm okay with that. We know the track. Okay. Yeah, Norway have got last stone. So USA are just trying to work out the best place to put this so USA that uh, Norway don't have an easy shot one, to remove the minimum two. Yeah, I agree. I'll try to err on the soft side here. And just try to get just full four foot on top. Let, six, it, let it run a little. Six five, is perfect. Five. Go ahead then. Mine's good. So both sweeping this. Want it right into the top of the forefoot. Try to place it perfectly right That's on top. Darn good right there. And we'll lie three. They really wanted to try and put the pressure on. I think they've done just that. Absolutely. I'll take that. Not an easy option for Norway now. They both knew the weight was pretty close. Trying to hold the line. And just rubs in no more. But perfect result. All those three all lined up behind the centre. We've seen in the game a couple teams of them struggle with this hit and roll, which looks like the call, where they've run straight. Yeah, as soon as you put any running weight on it, it seems to hold straight out there. Final stone of this fourth end, Kristen Skaslin. Magnus having to work hard to make any contact. Catch it thin and will glance off the back one. And it's going to be a deuce, but this time it goes through the steel. And the U.S. will double up and go up 4-2 over Norway halfway through their first round-robin games. Magnus really trying to hold this. They're trying to roll to the button. Too thin. Caught it too thin. And our first steal of the game goes to the U.S.A. 
we, exactly. If you if you're throwing anything beyond top four, it just and anything yeah. light like goes like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But you you judge that back one good. Four, back eight, yeah. Because you didn't want to tick off of it. You didn't want to. Nope. You just wanted to lock it right in there. And that's good. Okay, are they they're not gonna put are they gonna play five yet? No, they're not. Probably, Probably not. not. Probably not, right? So they're, they're only down two and yeah, play five, see what happens. Should we do it in six zone no matter what? I think so. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh they're flinket to be raske. Now we can bruke uh we bruke five seconds more for Dina Sam, Magnus. Når det er sånn, uh, når du er der oppe, ja. og så ser du hvilken oppgave du vil gjøre. Og så bare fem sekunder ekstra. Okay. Well, first end, and it was a opportunity, a tough shot here for Joe Polo. Try and get maybe three for Team USA. Easy, easy then. Got a curl. And trying to sweep to get that late finish. We'll end up chipping off their back one. Instead of the two they were sitting, it's a single for Team USA. Second end, fourth stone of the end for Team USA, and Tabitha Peterson seeing all those yellows in there. Makes this triple, and look at it, just clears them all out. Fantastic shot. Still left an opportunity though for Norway. Kristen Skazlin to try and play this quiet, delicate little chip roll off and try and get both of them into the forefoot. And she's perfect, so the deuce for Norway. Keep you up to date, China and Russia. Power play in effect over there and last stone for the Chinese side. Decided to use their power play early in that game. Yep, we got one chance to use a power play. So they've used it in the first half of the game. They're 4-1 down. So they're trying to generate a juice here. And it's worked. That's why you put the power play in and try and do it that way. Right down into the house. And a two for the Chinese side. As you see there, they trail Russia 4-3 into the fifth. Canada, Switzerland, 2-2 in the fourth. Sweden with that 2-1 lead over Korea. Of course, 4-2 in our feature game in the fifth. And you just saw how that Russia-China game sits. Dead noticeably. So, let's have a good second half, eh? Yeah. Play hard. Play smart. Hit rocks in good Try spots. Him. Execution is better than that. Triple. Hmm? Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. The rocks are well, you're right here for start now. No, that's not what I say, but... I don't know, you can maybe think a little more in your head before you say it, I don't know. Maybe? I would like to have more input on my stein, if you have some good ideas. For example, I think it's hard when it's hard to clear their own clear. Well, let's look at the stats after four ends. Obviously the score, 4-2 USA leading Norway. Draw advantage to Norway, 80-77. Hit accuracy, 60% for the U.S. to Norway's 35. We've seen a few of those where they just haven't been able to control with their weight. Overall, slight advantage to Team USA in those two stolen points, the difference in the game so far. So they position the stones again. There's talk of when to use that power play. It's nothing you really want to leave in your pocket. Uh, in a loss, you're down. You don't want to. You don't get anything for having it in your pocket at the end of the game. So USA will get started in the second half of this game. Joe Polo. Throw the first stone and the last. Easy. That feels there. Way there. Easy tap. Got a curl too. Okay. 
Well, right down to it, little bump. And now we're into the second half, Rona. It'll get a little bit more time for each end. Yeah, 15 seconds more in the second half of the game. So we've got three minutes and 15 to play each end. If they do run out of time, the opposition can decide whether they take two points at the end or whether they play out the end and play out the remaining stones. Freeze. Oh, Kristen with a very nice freeze right to the button. Two perfect stones there from uh, front end. Norway really want to try and get their two back now. That's pretty good. is looking as though it's got plenty running on it. Hit it hard. Well, just that little chip roll right. off. Still okay. shots down for Norway. Okay. A little slide yeah, over to see Canada against Switzerland. 2-2 the score in that one. And it is Canada lying one top of the forefoot. Jenny Perry. Yeah, going for the hit. Yeah, Big weight. Shit. Oh, catches the guard. It almost looked like trying to pick it, possibly. I think she was just trying to nick it. I don't think she could see much of it from the hack. So it's a steal of one and a 3-2 Canada lead in that game. Their first lead of that game. You like this ball? Yeah, that's the Olympic finalists with Switzerland playing Canada. Yeah, obviously for John Morris and Caitlin Park, she comes in because. Uh, Caitlin Law is playing with her uh, women's team. Yeah. Yeah, no pressure for Caitlin Park <laughs> coming in to yeah. join the Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, Let's see, Tabitha Peterson, 75% on the game. She'll touch that guard out in front, open things up. Yeah, the way the yellows are placed right now are in Norway's favour because if they try to lift a double, they would jam on the reds. So this is, where do you put your next stone? Because the angles are favouring you. Yep, I like this call. See, Put the angles are good. 71% for Magnus Nedergotten. A long way to Carl. Come tight to the house. Still Norway lying two. This is the fifth end. On the back one. On the back one. Yeah, USA are yeah. happy to give up a one here, even if they come in and freeze dead on top of that one in the one foot. They're happy to lose a one. Looks pretty good. Yeah, Norway's guard had to curl a wee bit more to yep. prevent Great. USA from doing yep, this. Yep, 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 yep. Has it got the weight? That's fine. Well, it comes up on that top one there, trying to get to the one on the button, I believe. Yep. <laughs> a spectator. Joe Polo looking on from the stands as well. 
A That's mighty large Joe Polo. Yeah, Come very in, large face. <laughs> Must be his number one fan. Because of the, uh, the setup of this game, it almost seems uh, your weight control is so important. You you got to be able to control it with those sweepers to, even if you miss, try and have an option after. Yeah, absolutely. It's always erring on the right side and trying to make the most of every shot. Just kind of thin and stuff it on here. And, and certainly no. wide and heavy on this ice, this you don't get anything. It should kick this one far enough to where this one's shot, right? Yeah. So you can see Norway just quite happy to guard. They're lying two, and they know it's very difficult for USA to remove anything just now. But it's always dangerous putting out these long guards when you've got last stone. Because if your opposition do get in, how are you going to then get in? And is Joe sizing up that in off that red guard? Yep, a great chance now for USA to really turn the screw right in there. They catch this fairly thin, come over, they can spring off their own red or they can go straight to the yellow on the button. But this is one if you don't make, you leave a shot for three. Risk versus reward. Yes. We'll see for Joe Polo at 69%. Will they get the reward for the risk? Thin and off their own in the top. Oh, how unlucky. Just a little too thick. And an opportunity at three now for Norway. So they virtually have to bite the one foot. US coaches saying, hmm, so close, but so far. So it's not an easy shot for Kristen Skazlian. To negotiate her long yellow guard that they put out and bite the one foot. Well, a bread and butter uh, shot for yeah. a skip. <laughs> <laughs> put this one right on the T line. The final stone of this fifth end. Magnus is on it very early. Well, happy with it now, though. There's the switch of the sweep. Maybe get it to curl a bit. Got to put it right on the tee line. Catch the button. Did they leave it too long? Did he leave it too long? He will get close, and it looks like it is three. No, just two. That back one comes into play and just out counts it as it is two still for Norway and a tie game. Well, I thought she had that one, but they just left it a little too long. Har du lust att Well, a tie game, and as you see, those stones a little different this end. The power play in effect. Rona, someone that's new to it, exactly what is the power play? Yeah, so each team get one power play. That it's like a joker, you can call it. <laughs> um, so they get one power play per game. 
And the idea that they use this is the centre's open, they've got a corner guard up, so they can try and generate multiples easier than they can with the normal centre guard. So you can see Kristen Skaslin here is just trying to split that guard into the rings, but actually... <laughs> gets by and pushes that red one back and out of place, so it goes so back in. It needs to be replaced, yep. She was trying to just tick the yellow guard. It's good. Put the shooter into the barrier and put the guard into the rings. So advantage now USA after that miss. And that's sort of the defense by teams to, with the power plays, to play that chip. Now USA electing, just go to the other side of the house. Yeah, it's a very open end for USA. If they can split the house, they lie too. If they can play the perfect end out, they're going to score their two. It goes right there, right? Yep, that's right. So, well played there, and Joe Polo. Great separation between the Reds. And this is where when your opposition have played that power play, do you try and split the guard off? Do you come draw around and try and just tap the one in the house just back a couple of inches? You know, different teams will play it a different way. And this is what Magnus He's looking to come round and just either half check or tap it back. But he's high of line. Looks like just more weights and slides by. And of course, because of the modified free guard zone rule, you can't remove any stone until the four stone being played anywhere. You couldn't even hit that open one in the house. That's where he threw his. Yeah, two errors in a row there from Norway. Based on his, it should curl there. Okay. And this is where USA can use that corner guard now to their advantage and get a second one right round it. If they can come round and freeze their own, it really puts the pressure onto Norway. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Well, and Tabitha yeah. has struggled with her draw. She whoa, whoa, whoa. heard her say earlier, you've got to find her Which draw way? weight. She's Which at 67%. Way? Yeah, just going to go down. and sit on the back one, lie three, great shot. So now Norway in big trouble. Good. Here's where you need those bailout shots. Now you can hit and not wasting much time. Safe step. Let's see if Magnus can try and jump this one over with the hit and roll. I just got it a wee bit thick. But with no sweepers, just one thrower and one in the head, watching without being able to sweep. Nose is good. So important here for USA, ideally they would like to hit this in the nose or hit and roll over to the right. Yeah so that they don't leave an easy hit and roll for Norway. Doesn't want to roll out, needs to stay in the house. It's good, Tap. Ah, right. good. The side of the forefoot, a lie three. So USA have certainly played the perfect power play end here so far. And while they decide that, we'll look over and see Canada lying. 1-2. That's Switzerland with the hammer in that one. Yep, Jenny Perry just having to draw. Out count the two Canadian counters. Needs to be in the forefoot. Martin Rios standing back. Hard. Hard. 
Is it going to stop? Just <laughs> oh, perfectly. <laughs> Score of one for Switzerland to tie the game. It's no surprise seeing those two the teams tight. Of course, Martin Rios, a two-time world mixed doubles champion. Jenny Perret winning the world 2017 as well. That's where, that I, that's where I took for ice and just kind of throw it here. Yeah, that moved a lot. So where do you want me, T-line? Um, I think if you're here, it's really good. They're not going to freeze us out, are they? They're going to... So a great chance here for it's United States shot. to score a three. With that last stone advantage. Stone mm -hmm. positioning is really vital now. in for third shot uh, really good shot there so That's now fine. asking Gets. a big question of Norway <laughs> how gutsy do you want to play do you try and play a freeze in there get out of that way or do you go yep I think they'd already decided before USA even played that shot what they were going to do I'm not sure. If you freeze the back red, you will lie short. But it has to be an absolutely perfect freeze. Yeah, you're off just a little bit. And four comes into play. As you see, those three reds counting right now for Team USA. Power play looking strong for them at this moment. So Magnus ready to sweep. Body pass. Body pass. Kristen will call the line. Linda well, vital that this one is in a good position for Team Norway. This is going to be pretty good line. Is it going to stop? Right down, oh. little bump, but shot stone. I think just pick it out for two, for sure. She looks a bit concerned about that one. It's a really good effort. Yeah. A little bit of separation is the room to pick it out, which is the call it looks like. Yeah, because you can see here when yellow, if you catch that slightly on the inside, the yellow spin off the red and the red will remove both the yellows. So a great chance here for the United States to really take the jump in this game. Shot stone for Norway, but final stone here, Joe Polo. Yep. Racing after it to sweep. Yep. Try to pick this one clean, stick. pick it off, stick around. And it will for the three. So power play, effective for Team USA, they get three. And have a 7-4 lead now with two ends to play. Joe Polo, good throw. A little dust at the end just to make sure. And that red sticks around to score the three as we get another close-up look as that red spin and stick for the third point. So yeah, it shouldn't curl any here, right? 
Well, two ends remaining. 7-4 is the score. Team USA on top. They got a steal in the fourth end. Three using the power play in six. And now, as you see those sides off, to, stones off to the right side of your picture, Norway is using their power play. Yep, so Joe Polo just trying to see what we saw Norway try at the last end. Get the shooter to go to the barrier and get the red guard to tap it into the house. On the tap hard. Can't remove that stone, but we'll punch that one. Ian, uh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a great shot. Just a crucial shot in that end. Uh, it is. It, with the power play. There's a key shot there for the lead player. It makes such a difference to how the end is played out. So now how do you defend that? Do you go put the guard back or do you draw to the other side? You could draw to the other side and say, okay, I've got an open house for line two. But I think at this stage you'll see the guard go back up. Well, Magnus standing well back. And he's saying, got a draw. Because USA can't remove that from play. I have half of it over here, but... Why well, just come here? In Norway I would love to get that. their three back, but they need to get a two back here. Stay in the game when there's only one more right. end. Still can't remove you think anything. Line or that inch that far center line. Do you think that's enough? It curls this way. If you're throwing back line. Oh, you want me to throw? It's over buried. Yeah. I think I just want to freeze it. If okay, it's that's fine then. Okay. Yep. So take uh, take halfway into the forefoot. Okay. Well, teams are used to going to practice with no one in the house. Uh, just. Visualizing where that broom is and talk, hitting, looking at a spot and where you're going to throw it. See a lot of that, the discussion of where they want to throw it to. Yeah, and it's good here with the bumpers. There's writing along the bumper, so you can pick a letter and hope that nobody moves the bumper. <laughs> Sometimes the umpires will maybe move the bumpers about a bit. Oh, it's a lovely shot. Good sweep. Oh, it's close. I think it's them, though. Good Looks sweep. just yellow, but it's a really close in the rings. Well, the more stones in play, the better for yeah. Norway, trying to generate yeah. offense yeah. here in the seventh end. Crash on the front. And has not been a good start to this seventh end with the power play for Norway. So Tabitha, just looking to tap back the red onto yellow. It needs to curl though. Ah, it doesn't curl enough. But the shooter has rolled into the centre behind cover. Oh, it was good. Just didn't uh, curl. Well, 
So trying to freeze this one back of the forefoot. Need to pass the top guard though. Oh, a big mistake there from Magnus. Well, not the result there. And look at the scenario for China down 6 3. And it is Russia lying one right on the button. I mean, it's our rock going in there. But Wang Rei, opportunity to get two. Yeah. Yep, just needs to tap the yellow back and keep our shooter. That yeah, plays that nicely, scores two. So a 6-5 Russia lead, they'll have the hammer into the seventh end of that game. Of course, China and Russia also in the same pool as the two teams here in our feature game, USA and Norway. The double round robin, top team will go to the final, take on the winner of Pool A. So after that error from Magnus, a chance now for USA to come round here. Get to top four, Good. but it does get in for second shot, which was the most important thing there. Perfect there, I like that better. I like it way high up there. You can hear Joe saying he prefers it high. Because that yellow is open for Norway to raise up. There you see it. That, that it blocks the way. So Norway in a bit of trouble here. Really got a good look there. The finish on that one, because it got by with lots of space and is almost fully buried in the top of the eight foot. Yeah, really good curl in the ice. So Norway know that. Uh, <laughs> you need to raise the yellow onto this red in the house. This is where when things aren't going well, when you are a, a couple. <laughs> yeah. It's that different dynamic. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and we'll run it over the top, misses that one completely. Do you think it's sometimes a little demoralizing too to start with the power play when no, the other team makes that perfect tick shot? Definitely. Yeah, that's right. We're going to get married. You need to do as I tell you. It's marriage yeah. training on ice. <laughs> I kind of like how those are sitting It's the on. test. I'm good with this. And they've played I in five like World that. Mixed Doubles Championships, so. How turn? No better test than those, and here at the Curling World Cup. Yeah, not a lot of option there. You can see if USA block this, Norway are really are only going to be able to draw for one. USA could get cute and tap the red up, and as long as we're guarding the outside part of that rock, it's fine. But there's no point in being too greedy. They're three up. They would be happy to force a one here and be two up with a hammer coming home. Yeah, absolutely. So Joe early. Pillow's final stone, of course, early. Norway with the hammer, oh, using the power play in the seventh end. Let me get in. No, 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 that's good. I want to get right there. Yeah. Well, nothing, nothing. Oh, it just took a right turn. Jeez, that took off. <laughs> and that one really curled and... Is there a chance now to make that double and roll to get two? I think there is. If you make it two. That one really took off in the, the last like that at the couple end. of inches. No. They were pretty confident when across the hog line it was going to be pretty good. And it well, you make it for two. Make a double. Yeah. Um, and then we're up one with hammer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so <laughs> they're, they're weighing up the situation. Well, even if we do lose a two, it's not a disaster. Play the scoreboard. Well, they've seen Skazlin make some great shots in this game already. 
He's going to need another one now with the final shot here. Seventh end. Needs the double takeout to score two. Carl a little bit make the double and we'll oh, sit there. Look at that shot. Kristen Skoslin to score the two. No problem. We'll just make the double score a deuce. A one point game. Now as we'll head to the eighth end. Fantastic shot. Well swept by Magnus Nedergotten. Yeah, no problem. We got this. No bother. Get I'll the two. I'll show you how it's done, she says. 7-6 seven, after seven USA leading. Welcome back inside the Ralston Arena. Luke Coley, Rona Howie, as we bring you live coverage, the Curling World Cup, leg two. We are showing live coverage of USA Norway in the mixed doubles portion of this competition. The USA has the hammer, a one point lead, and after back to back power play ends, back to the traditional center line stone, stone back forefoot. Yep, both teams have used their power play, so the eighth end's going to be normal play. So the first stone for Norway, just off that back one, back button. I think it's all there, Joe. Well then, lay off it. Easy, easy. Yep, yep. Hard. Hard line. So Joe Polo just looking hard, coming hard, right hard, down hard. on top of this yellow. Hard all the way through it. Hard all the way through it. Trying to hold the line, it's curling. Yeah, perfect. Great shot. I took a turn. <laughs> really see with that quiet wade how much curly you can get. Pardon, yeah. yeah, both Magnus and Kristen Skaslin were uh, playing at the European Championships last week. Magnus with his men's team, Stefan Wallstad, and Kristen Skaslin skipped her ladies' rink to win the B division, bring Norway up to the A division for next year. So they've had a busy time of late. A busy time and could be more curling as they got the invite to the world qualifier as well. Yep, and Naseby in New Zealand in January. So it's a new event this year. Some good shots to start things off here in this eighth end. Yeah. See the numbers, 88% on the hits, 71 for draws. Tabitha Peterson. Yeah, just quite happy to open this up. So the peel of that center line guard, opening things up by Team USA, knowing they have the lead by a single point. And then it's a big difference. We see Magnus Nedder gotten 70% on his draws, 54% on his hits. Rona, a little difference in the format here of if we do have a tie. No extra ends to be played? Yeah, so the teams really want to win in the designated eight ends. Oh, and we've just seen a hogstone there from Magnus. Struggled a bit today. But uh, yeah, teams want to win in the regulating yep. eight ends. They don't want to have a 
shoot out because you don't get as many points. You get three points if you win in regulated time, whereas if you win the draw shot, you'll only get two points. And yeah. points make prizes here. <laughs> oh, well, great look at that. shot. Tabitha's had some big, big results today with her takeouts. Yeah, back, yeah. she made a great shot in the second end, a triple. Really just opened that end up, gave himself a chance. And peels those ones out. Well, that one over curls just a little bit there. Trying to just freeze that stone back four okay. foot. Nose is good. Huh? Nose. I'm going to throw the same turn. Same weight, same shot. Yep. Okay. Want to just make sure they get rid of that one. We'll peel that stone out. USA gets rid of it as we look over Canada, Switzerland. Canada leading Switzerland 5 3 in the seventh. Close of who is shot of those two. Jenny Perry just drawing fully into the eight foot. So looks like it would be for a second point. Yeah, they do look as though they're lying one. Behind that corner guard. Sweeping this hard though, it's not going to be there. Well, that's a tough miss there by Jenny Pere in Switzerland. So they're down 5-4 heading to the eighth end. Well, this shot from Norway has to be millimeter perfect. She has to freeze the red USA stone that's back button. Leave no separation. Well, she's come up with shots in this game when she's needed to. And right now, not needs this that. Time. And, uh, it's not even going to be there. That is going to be a win for Team USA without even throwing their last. Couldn't come up with the freeze when she needed it. So Team USA. The host nation to the chance of USA get a big first win here at the Curling World Cup. Yeah. We'll take it. Like I said, it's a simple there. game. They Two don't red. move the thing down here. Two red. Two red, yeah. What's that? Like I said, it's a simple game. They, the host stays stationary, so it's really easy to hit. <laughs> that was good, peeled right away. Yeah. Just, it was looking pretty good right. for us in there. Wait, you, with your shot, the way it was set up, yep. we were set up. It was yep. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. Well, Norway will drop their first. Team USA with the win here in this first session of mixed doubles. Back in action again. The double round robin. I stayed good all game. I thought so too. Stayed really good all game. I think I was nine for the final will go up on the board. The two for Team USA. Three. Yeah. And they'll get the full three points for the victory. No, it's good. Yeah. I stayed great. I stayed. That was. That was a thinking man's bet. Yeah. Yeah. It's tricky over there. Absolutely. So. Okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, with Team USA defeating Norway, we'll keep finishing up here the session two, the first of mixed doubles. We'll slide over to show, get over to Canada against Switzerland. I mentioned it earlier, it was Canada and Switzerland that played for the Olympic gold back in February. The first time mixed doubles part of the Olympic Winter Games. John Morris and Caitlin Laws winning. And this is where we sit right now. That single by Switzerland in the seventh leaves them down by one. Canada, though, with the hammer playing the eighth end. The Canadian team of John Morris and Caitlin Park. Switzerland, Jenny Perret and Martin Rios. Canada throwing the redstones. Trying to keep that center line open. Yep, 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 John yep, yep. Morris, who loves to throw the big weight, trying to peel that one off, open the front up. Martin Rios for Switzerland. Throwing the middle three stones for this uh, Swiss team. Had a four and two record at the first leg of the Curling World Cup. Of course, Rios, a two time World Mix double. 2012 and 2017. Fish. Olympic silver medalist trying to wrap one around that center line stone. Okay. Well, and it's in there for a shot. Tight guard just biting top of the 12 foot. John Morris sizing up that run back. If you can, stick with the shooter, okay? Sure. The 39 year old John Morris, two time Olympic gold medalist, 2010 in the men's discipline, 2018 in the mixed doubles format. Kalen yes. Yes. Park trying to hold it, get by, make the double, won't. Again, a single point stolen by Switzerland means we will have a shootout to determine the winner of this one. Shoot, I thought it was, if anything, a hair full, but. Lots down, that one forty. I don't think you can outdraw it. No, it's well, pretty tough. So you're probably throwing a run back, Hit I guess. Or run. Yeah. Let's see where she lands. Um, Jenny Parade, 26 years of age, won the World Mixed Doubles with Rios in 2017. Trying to guard this one up. A little longer and now run back for the win. Yeah. I don't mind either one. I think that it doesn't finish a ton, but if you throw the perfect weight, it's probably there. Whatever you want, and, or this one. Whatever one you're feeling. They're both good. You got lots of time, you got over a minute. I think I might like the tap. Do you think it's there though? No, I like the run, John. Okay, you got it. Well, I like the run. Okay. I'm going to sweep for you, okay? Yeah. Well, of course, Kaylin Park, that last name, very familiar. Daughter of Kevin Park. Intern? Intern, yeah. Play this run back. It'll be pretty straight. Switzerland. 
looking on. They've done all they can. They'd love to get into that shootout, give himself a chance. But Canada a chance, if they make this, they win the full three points. 30-year-old Kaylin Park. Grew up at the curling club. Started when she was five. Run back, pick it out, and just touches it over. And that means we are gonna have a shootout to determine the winner of this one. Not a surprise with these two. So close, just rubs it. Well, uh, run back and... <laughs> oh, so close. Thought she had it. Um, what rock do you want? We do. You? We do, okay. yeah. We throw first. I'm just trying to figure out what rock I want to throw. See for all. So because... See for throw all. My, uh, See seven. Seven. Yeah. point, they'll throw first. Canada saying they're throwing first. Take our time. So, this spot, obviously, you want to take? Yeah, I'm going to take right, me right there. Okay, hey, I like it. I think that's really close. Okay. okay. You, got you, it, you just keep telling me line, okay? Sounds good. I'll clean for you. What? I'll clean the whole way down. That's okay, I got it. Oh yeah, the, the slower we go, the better. Because yeah. they just threw it a few times, so. Okay. Welcome back, our continuing coverage of the Curling World Cup Leg 2, Canada, Switzerland. Saw the line score, a single put up. We're in that single stone shootout. Winner will get two points, loser will get one. John Morris will throw for Canada. Okay. Where is it? Line Narrowly line. missed a run back in that final end. Yep, needs to be as Line close to the button as possible. Thirteen seven. Sit. Sit down. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, and not quite covering the pin, but that's pretty darn good. Yeah. It's always in these shootouts. Do you want to go first or second? Do you want to know what your opposition's done? So the umpires just measure the distance. 194, right? 193. So 193, that's the distance from the pin to the stone. Just didn't curl enough, eh? Just Where's enough, the, yeah. I, I was trying to wait until the no, very... Yeah, nothing we can do. Nice shot. I think with my 8-rock, I'd, I'd probably over-curl it just yeah. there. Well, now they've seen it. As you said, Rona. Martin Rios now knows what he has to beat to get the full, full button to virtually win this game. Playing the same spot on the ice. Oh, he's saying, come and help. I'm short. We need to get this on the button. Prey and Rios. Can they cover the button? Cover it! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> There's the excitement. Steal one and eight. Win the single stone shootout. And Switzerland gets two points out of it. Canada will get one. Oh, he says, uh, no problem. <laughs>
Our feature game, United States defeating Norway, 9-6 the final. Here in the start of mixed doubles. Fourth end, USA, Norway, and look at all those reds lined up. Final stone here, Kristen Skoslin gonna try and play that hit and roll off the side one. Partner Magnus Nedergotten can't hold the line. Kills two, but leaves two in there that score for Team USA. Sixth end and using the power play. A couple misses by Norway early, and USA looking to capitalize with the advantage of the power play. Joe Polo will pick that one out, and that red sticks around. The triple for Team USA. In the seventh end, Norway trying to answer back with their power play. Kristen Skazlin needs another great shot to score a deuce. Make the double, sit there. No problem for the Norwegian team to get their deuce. And an eight without being able to make that freeze on her last. It is a Team USA victory as they put two more on the board in that 9-6 win. Here's all the other results. You saw Switzerland winning in the shootout over Canada 6-5. And it is Korea defeating Sweden 9-2. Feature game was 9-6, USA over Norway. And Russia defeats China 8-5. Tabitha, congratulations, your first win. Tell me, your power play was pretty useful there. Yeah, you know, we uh, had a little bit of a plan going in, trying to get them stuck on the straight side, uh, making that freeze, and it paid off. And it's your first time playing in a World Cup format. What are your thoughts on the format so far? It's pretty fun, the way each end is timed. Um, you kind of have to be quick the whole game, and you can't kind of bank time and save it for the end and so um, it's quick it's even quicker than you know regular mixed doubles with the timing every end so I like it absolutely yeah it's great so you've played together before mixed doubles you've been successful before what's your goal for this week here I'll be successful again you know it's <laughs> be great to make the final and, uh, and see how the, see how things go well well done in your first game good luck with the rest thank you well, and after one session of mixed doubles, you see the standings. Uh, pool A, Korea, full three points, then Switzerland with the shootout points of two. Canada gets one with the shootout loss, and Sweden at zero. Russia and the U.S. winning in eight ends. In uh, Pool B, China and Norway, 0-1, no points. And here's how you get points. Win the event, you get 10. You lose the event final, you get five. As we saw in a... Winning a round-robin game within eight ends, you get three points. And if you win with the shootout, you get two. You lose that round-robin game in a shootout, you get one point. And then losing within eight ends, no points. For Rona, Howie, myself, Luke Coley, entire crew, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.